Uh, what is going on from welcome back to a brand new video it has been a while hasn't it since i've posted this i'm not gonna lie um i haven't played this in about a month i haven't touched this save in about a month i don't really know what i was doing um to be honest when i last played this but hopefully i can get it back pretty quickly i know i've just checked the transfers and things like that i know i made a couple of quality transfers i think i saw you at the end of the last season so we've got some things to go through um i think i signed griezmann at the end of the last season um but i've made a couple more transfers since then um secondly i just want to say there's also probably some banging going on in the background i think next door is is building like a new house or something he's not building a new house he's got scaffolding outside his house um but he's doing something so he's banging um so yeah so if you can hear that it shouldn't be too loud it should just be faintly in the background but if it's annoying i'm sorry there's not much i can do so for that or i just don't record but i want to get back into this because we went pretty far into this um I have played, a, apparently I have played a couple of games in the in the season. Four games, we've won three and drew one against Man City. The three that we won though, we beat Arsenal 4-2, beat Hull 6-3 and then we beat Leicester 3-0. Um, so that's always good. Newcastle are back in the Premier League as well. Birmingham are back in the Premier League. Aston Villa, um, that isn't, that's the cup. What is that? I lied. I just, I just lied to your face. Um, Derby. He's back. Okay. Um, but anyway, if we go into the transfers, we've got a couple of loan offers for Abraham and uh, Chalaba. But we go on to the transfer history. We'll look at these ones first, just before we get to those. Um, so, Krishnatsu has left. Um, Aspilicueta went to PSG for 50 million. I remember this one. I didn't want to let him go. Um, but he came to me asking that he wanted to go and, like, demanding that he wanted to go. Um, so, I had to. I had to. Essentially, he had to go. Um, I've also sold Begovic to Juventus. Uh, Traore's gone. Batshuayi's gone. Uh, Baba Rahman's finally gone. Um, Van Ginkel. A couple of other like fringe players. Uh, loads more people have gone back on loan. Uh, Petra Bamford's left as well. Pedro, we got £22.5 million for Pedro, which isn't a lot. But the guy's 30. He's still got some quality stats, but the guy's 30. Um, he's not really quite cutting it. He won't get much game time. He's gone back to Barcelona. Um, so there's that, but we've also got rid of Remy, three and a half million, I wanted to get more for Remy, but his contract was running out, so he wasn't worth much, um, Thorgan Hazard's gone on loan, loan offer plus 175k per month, which is quite a bit, um, Charlie Musonda, hmm, yeah, Van Ginkel, 8.25 million, possibly reaching up to, uh, just under 14, which is quite a bit, same as Batshuayi, 9.5 million, possibly going up to uh, to 14, uh, just over 14. But I was kind of disappointed with Batshuayi. He played quite, he played a, a few games. He played three games for us after signing for 34.5 million or like 32 million in real life. Um, scored one goal, then went on loan uh, back to Bordeaux and scored 10 goals in 16 games, um, which was good. So I think he's probably going to smash it in, in Spain, but he's just not. He's not a player that I want to use. Um, but anyway, as you can see, we signed this goalkeeper from Aston Villa. Obviously, he's a replacement for Begovic. He's not great. Um, to be fair, if I had that money now, I would buy someone different. Um, but he's just a fringe player. He knows he's not really going to play. Um, Griezmann, 86 million. We bought his release clause. We then bought Marco Verratti uh, from PSG. 63 million, possibly rising up to 66, which is a lot of money. I understand that. But the guy's 24. And he's incredible. He's actually incredible. He's got four stats that are below 10, which is jumping reach. The guy's like two foot tall. Five, uh, he's finishing, long throws and heading. Like, And once again, the guy's like two foot tall. So he, other than that, he's incredible. He's got insane. He's got really good crossing, corners, dribbling. His first touch is good. Passing's really good. Technique is good. Vision's good. Uh, really good flair. Good pace. Good stamina. Um, good natural fitness, decent strength. Like he's he's a quality player. Um, so I'm happy with bringing him in. I also had to replace Azpilicueta, and we sold Ivanovic, didn't we? So I bought uh, Serge Aurier, the guy who's I believe is actually in prison in real life. I could be wrong, um, but we bought him in, and also Mario, who is from Villarreal. Now this guy looks pretty good. He's 26. He looks decent um, as a replacement for. As for Laqueta, so hopefully he should be there or about his first team, but I'm not sure. Aurier and Mario could be the two players that that kind of switch between uh, 
this position because I was originally going to play uh, Kurt Zuma right back, but he's not a right back as he? he's way too tall to be a right back. First of all, he's just not got really the pace up uh, and stamina to get up and down. So, yeah, in today's episode, we do have... Let's go ahead and take part. We do have... Um, wait, Lewis Baker is unregistered. His positioning and teamwork is pretty poor, and his balance is pretty poor, but the guy looks really good. What's his contract status, by the way? When does it run out? 2019. Okay, we're good. Um... Squad registration. Let's just auto select this. So who have we got that's that's not? Uh, Christensen's in. Nice with Baker. Ruben Loftus Cheek. Pulisic is okay. So is Pavon. Um, Alexandra Isaac is okay as well. Let's go ahead and just confirm that. Um, now the only problem is, I don't think Pulisic is really going to get too much game time this season. Uh, he could do. I could put Griezmann on the right perhaps, and then put Pulisic on the left. Um, and then play Hazard Cam behind Diego Costa, then Kante Verratti in midfield, and then uh, Alonso, De Luiz, De Vrij, and Mario. That could be the way that I'd go. It's a decent one as well. It's a decent way to go. But then we also have Matic and Cesc Fabregas on the on the mid on the uh, bench, which is kind of annoying because these are quality players. I would love to get these guys starting. Uh, hmm. Hmm. De Luiz isn't playing too well. Let's put uh, Christensen on. Actually, rather than Kurt Zuma, let's put Christensen on. It's Newcastle. We've also got... Oh, uh, Courtois injured. How long is he out for? Five to ten days. That's okay. Uh, oh, Lorraine is injured. Ben Yedda as well. We've still got Ben Yedda, which we bought because he was on He was on sale. <laughs> he was on the transfer list. Uh, five and a half million we bought because we needed a backup striker to batch away because he just wasn't cutting it. And he's got some really, really good stats. He's valued at ten million. So if I do go ahead and sell him in the future, I, sh I will get my money back, which is good. Um, anyway, let's go. Abraham, do we want to sell? Uh, do we want to loan Abraham out? Where to? Norwich. They're in the Premier League. No, they're in the Championship. Um, you'd be going back to the Championship. Do I want to? Clubs interested? Bournemouth, Hull. I wouldn't mind. Hmm. Okay, can you pay 100% of his wages? Even though it's six thousand. No, I'm not going to reject that. It's six thousand. Come on now. Sunderland won uh, Chalaba. I'm not going to get rid of him just because he's English, first of all, and uh, he can be in and around for cup games. Who are Michael Hector. This guy, I could probably sell Michael Hector. I'm not going to lie. He's not very good. He's 25. He's not really going to get anywhere, is he? Um, I will go ahead and just offer a 7.5. I'm going to reject the loan offer. I would rather sell him. Um, Reading, sure. You could pay If you're paying his wages, sure. Um, who else we got? Who else we got here? Given that a Victorian ag band does not have a work permit, this guy. Wow. This guy's good. Um, yeah, I'll loan him out. Sure. Sure thing. I haven't long woken up. I don't know if I've mentioned this. I haven't long woken up, so I probably sound like really croaky in my voice. Uh, does not have a work... Uh, yes. We'll be trying to, to sell him. I know that I'm starting on transfer deadline day, which is kind of annoying because I wanted to, to see if I could sign anyone else, but I'm just not gonna I'm not really gonna bother at this point. Um we'll reject that one. See you later, Tammy Abraham. Have a good time. Two point six after fifteen matches. And you're paying his wages too. Hmm. That's not very. That's not a lot of money, though. He's valued at more than that. I want about six million for him, lowest. That's not gonna. That's not gonna happen, mate. Six million. Nah, I'm gonna reject that. Uh, the offer isn't good enough. I would. I'd rather just sell him, like straight out sell him. Uh, okay. When's the Newcastle game? Three million. This is five point two five million from Sheffield Wednesday, who are aware in the championship. Hmm. I would I would accept that. I don't mind that. I pay one thousand seven hundred of his wages, that's not bad. Considering he's on seventeen K. I could do that. I'll accept that. Um given that Lewis Baker will not be registered in the squad for uh, surely you're looking to loan him out. Uh that would be great. I would like to get this guy in and around the first team as well, but it's not going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and lock that. And we'll offer to clubs. And I will say we're looking into potential destinations for him. Birmingham. 
Championship and Barnsley, sure. And loan these guys out. So when is it? It is in nine days. Okay. Except we'll go ahead and just skip over to the game then. Uh, because there's not too much to talk about apart from just fringe loan players going out. Alright guys, we're back. And since I last spoke to you, literally nothing has happened. A couple of emails regarding like more loan players. We've sent a few more loan players out. I did put in an offer for... Laporte, but we don't really have the money to cover it, so I just kind of cancelled it. We do have like 50 odd million, but his um, his budget alone, well, his uh, release clause, sorry, is 56 on its own. That's not including agent fees and the player fees and stuff like that, so we don't really have the money. Um, but this is the game we go with. This is the team we're going to go in against Newcastle with. I put Willie in him just because Pavon doesn't, uh, Pulisic, sorry, doesn't really have the fitness to go throughout the whole game. Um, I've also, uh, you saw that Pavon, uh, we, we took out Pavon, but other than that, I don't really think anything has happened. Hmm. Courtois has just come back from injury, so for the next game against Barcelona, which is huge, he will be in contention, which is good. So, it's just this one game, uh, th this Go Golini guy will be in goal. We've also got Christensen, De Vrij, Mario, Alonso, Verratti next to Kante, Willian, Eden Hazard, uh, Griezmann, and Costa. That front four, by the way, is scary. Like, really scary. We're going to say be more expressive. We're going to let these guys go go ham um, on, the, uh, on, the, on the expressiveness of this game. So we're going to go ahead and say pick up where you last left off. I will be uh, putting this... I will be probably only playing this one game in this episode. The next episode, we will be having the Barcelona game. Uh, hopefully, you guys are okay with that. Replays. Uh, goals. Goals. Uh, we should be good. That should be it. But yeah, we'll only be having this one game in this episode because it's a fairly long episode already. Um, and I do have to try and get this out as soon as possible because I, I have, I'm really busy today. So we will uh, only have this one. And then tomorrow or whenever the next episode goes out, which will be in a couple of days at the very most, we will uh, we will go from there. We could have just went one and up two minutes in. Counter-attack. Classic counter-attack. Direct passing play. We're doing pretty well at the minute. S I guess he, a yes, he, oh, whatever your name is. We're doing pretty well at the minute. Right, Golini kicks it out. Hazard somehow wins a header. Verratti finds Kante. Kante, can he find... No, he gets tackled. Okay. I was going to try and see if he could find... Oh, they got Destro. What, the Destro? From... Who is it? Torino, is it? Some Italian team. Is that the Destro? He's quality. He's got, like, insane finishing. Verratti finds Kante. Finds Willian. Finds Mario. Whips it into Griezmann. Griezmann hits the bar. Let's have a look at that, actually. I want to see if I can. Let's go for... How can I... Let's go back. Um, Newcastle, let's look at their players. Striker. Destro, yeah, Mattia Destro. He's got insane finishing. He's a decent player. Mitrovic. They've got the classic team. They've got Atsu as well from us. I wonder if Atsu's playing. I don't know. We started off pretty well. Eight shots, one on target though. They've had three shots, two on target, so it's a bit worrying. But I'm not sure if hitting the bar really counts as a shot on target. I don't know. Um... Ian Hazard's playing pretty poorly in that role. Let's change his... Mm. We'll go there. Uh, I want to say I'm far from plays because I do want us to... We should be like 1 or 2 nil up at the very least at the minute. And uh, we're just not getting our shots on target. So, it's unfortunate. But hopefully, this se this uh, half this season... Hopefully this half we will be back to, to doing it. I, I'm going to say, I my aim is to win the title. Um, but... New, uh, Newcastle, but Tottenham looks solid, and in foot manager they always have looked solid because they have the likes of Deli Ali, Harry Kane. These players are like insane on this game, so um, yeah, it's going to be tough. But hopefully we'll we'll get there. Hazard, yes, Hazard picks up another goal, uh, fourth goal of the season already, which is nice. We're currently top of the league. We're top of the league. We're top of the league. We're top of the... But it's a decent finish. So I'm going to say Griezmann finds Alonso. Griezmann is apparently bald. Finds Hazard. And on his left foot, somehow gets it in between four or like four players. And puts it far post, which is nice. 
We are one nil up. Let's go. All right, I'm going to say take it easy. I'm going to say take it easy because we do have the Barcelona game in a couple of days and I don't really want them tiring themselves out. Although saying that Newcastle were playing pretty well. Let's go back to flexible. Hazard whips in a corner. Willian picks it up. Finds Hazard again. Whips it in. Finds Alonso. Bang that, Alonso. Come on, we all know you've got a left foot of dreams. Oh, Crawl saves it. They've still got Crawl. Wow. Um, oh, Shelby clears. Mina. Mina is on the run. Mina is on the run. Verratti with the tackle. Yeah, let's go. Right. Let's make a substitute. So, Willian, I think he's going to come off. Pivan. Uh, Pivan. Pivan can play. Costa's just not doing well. Let's bring on Pulisic. Even though he's got 87% fitness, he's not doing particularly well there. So, I'm going to play advance forward. And we will go from there. The two youngsters can get a little bit of game time. Um, I love Pulisic on this game. He's so good. And we were playing him as centre mid last season. Like, he's so good. This is what I like about this because we bought Griezmann. So if Costa's not playing well, we could just put Griezmann striker. Hazard whips it in. Pavon. It's going to find Hazard again. He gets another chance. Finds Pavon. Pavon to Kante and Kante scores. That's a rare occasion. Fourth goal of the season. What? What? He scored four goals. Plays pretty well in this centre midfield. Just two players in centre midfield. He plays well. That's mad. He's got four goals. He's got as many goals this season as what Hazard does. It's going to be a 2-0 home win though. Which is always nice. It's always nice getting that win. Another three points. Let's look at the, the table. Tottenham did draw. I think. Chelsea go top. Does it not tell me? No. I've been performing above expectations, really. Did I say fourth? I can't remember. Um, your passing was a joy to be... Uh, just freaking accept the compliment, mate. Um, all right, let's go on to this. Let's look at their recent recent game schedule. It was. It was against Watford. They drew at home 1-0 against Watford. Thank you, Dominic Solanke. Oh, my God. Thank you. He scored for them. He's got one goal in three games. On loan to Watford in the Premier League. This not bad. He's not really playing too well. But his one game, what his one goal was against Tottenham. So I mean that is incredible. Um, but anyway, in the next game, in the next episode, I can't speak. In the next episode, we will have Barcelona and Aston Villa. Um, Barcelona is going to be a difficult one because first of all, it's Barcelona. Secondly, I don't really know how this tactic is going to fare out against them. I'm not as confident in his tactic as I was last year. Uh, just simply because we don't have that CDM. Although Kante and Verratti do have the defensive stats to to hold them off, it's going to be tough because Hazard is here now rather than there and then having a CDM there. So we don't really have the defensive support. And we are away from home, so it's going to be really tough. And I don't know if I want to change my formation just ahead of that game. It could be worth doing. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you have, please do go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook. The links are in the description below. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care.